Hello, this is William Teasley of the Higher Ground Education Initiative. I want to welcome you all to SOAR and getting started with Pathbright. To participate in SOAR, you must complete a digital portfolio that will be shared with colleges that are looking for students just like yourselves. Pathbright, SOAR's technology partner, has developed an online tool to help us create our own digital portfolios so that you can share your talents with colleges that are looking for students just like you. To get started, open the email you received from me, William Teasley, and Pathbright a little while ago. If you do not see the email, please go into the search box above your inbox. You can type in Pathbright and do a search mail. And, and any email you have received from Pathbright should pop up. Please go to the latest email that says William Teasley invited you to join a course to join the course. Some of you have, may have received some emails that have uninvited you to join a course, but that was because we were making some changes and we are at, we made those changes and are now getting ready to uh, begin the course. So you click on William Teasley invited you to join a course. In the email, it will share information about SOAR 2018 and that is the name of the course. It will have a link to join the course directly through the email. And you can also copy a join code, which is right here, that you can uh, copy and paste into an existing Pathbright account if you have one. But we'll talk about that a little later and probably in a different screencast. Now, the easiest way is to just click on join the course and this should take you to a login screen. This is where you create your information in order to log into Pathbright. So we will create a username, we'll add our email address, first and last name, and then a password. So for the username, I will use super, oops, didn't misspell super there, soar2018. And for the email address, I'll use the email address that I use with uh, the account I just signed up with, which is hgei. Atlanta 2013 at yahoo.com and for first name I'm going to use H-G-E-I-S-O-A-R my last name will be 2018 which is the year you all should graduate college for my password I typically suggest Oh, I have to, must contain only letters, sorry. Let me, uh, Atlanta. There we go, sorry. So now you know you can't use numbers as your last name. Um, and now for my password, I usually recommend that people create a password that's memorable. For me, it has been the middle name of a relative and their birthday. So a good example is my grandmother. Her middle name was Marie. And her birthday was March 21st. But instead of just 321, I use 0321. I got a strong password. And then I click Continue. The next screen is you must register for this course. And all you have to do is click Join Course. Congratulations. You are now logged into Pathbright. When you get to Course Home, 
there'll be plenty of information there for you to look at but we are not going to start there where we're going to start is up here where we have your name and we're going to highlight it's a drop down box will appear with different commands and we're going to go to my profile so when you get to your my profile there are two big boxes one with your name and it'll have share and it'll have a little email icon it'll have something that's supposed to be there it looks like a person and this the profile wizard so what we're going to do now is simply go to start profile wizard here your name is already in the first two boxes so first name last name or where they need to be for title I would like you all to enter senior and the name of your high school but for this example we'll use the best high school also here's the opportunity to upload your headshot photo so we go here and we click on change we'll see choose a background image the image you see is the default image but what we're going to do is add a new image so we click on new it'll take you to your desktop and there ideally you should have some images saved or it should be in a file where you have a good headshot photo but for this example we're going to use um, just uh, an image to sort of highlight uh, that headshot photo so I'm going to use this big grin smiley face so right now it's uploading my profile image and I'll let it do that uh, but this your profile image is very important it is where they get to see you and if it's an image that's from a di if it shows more than your upper chest and the top of your head it's too far away people need to see your face your eyes your smile so now that we have a profile image we're going to go we're going to click on save and next here we can add more contact information so we can add things including Twitter Facebook LinkedIn a web address and lastly telephone I recommend that everyone enter in their telephone information a lot of times colleges try to reach out to students and are not able to reach them by email so that telephone number becomes very important so I'll enter in my phone number right here so that's the most information you can add I'm scrolling down here to get to the save and next page to, to the save and next button so now I'm gonna everyone needs to answer three questions about yourself and we'll do and we'll do all three I'll pick one what is my greatest achievement outside of school and work and I will say my greatest achievement is starting the soar program to help students access highly selective colleges they will have greater options for college than before whoops oh here oh this is a good thing to learn there are limits on um, um, letters so now I've reached that limit and it just stops so what I'm gonna have to do is probably go back and keep just keep my first sentence there and when I'm done I'm gonna go down to add another
Here's another good one. If I rented a billboard for me, what would I put on it? Actually, that's a, you know, for some that's easy. For me, that's a little tough. But okay, I'll go into something. What motivates me? Uh, and so my response is as a parent of two kids, they motivate me to be the best father I can be and role model. So that's my response to the second question. And now we're going to have one more. And that's going to be, what's my goal? My, um, my goal is to start my own education technology company that makes learning easier and mobile for high school students. All right, so that's my goal. Save and close. Guess what? You've now created your basic profile. And that was the goal of this getting started with Pathbright. The next screencast will help you start building your ePortfolio. Till then, have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you on Pathbright.